The pain will never go away, and neither will these scars. They are part of a young boy's life forever. Jojo was four years old, a typical little boy who had quite an imagination. When Jojo put on this Red Devil costume, he turned into Spider-Man. And he would come home as he did most days,、uh, and as he did on this day, and he would put on his Spider-Man costume. And he would put on clothes over it. Jojo's attorney, Charles Swordson, says the outfit looked just like this. Jojo had worn it dozens of times, but one afternoon in August 2007, Jojo had the costume on, and within seconds he was on fire. His mother went outside to take an important phone call. He grabbed a lighter out of his out of her purse and went back to his bedroom, as boys, especially of that age, will do.、Um, He was fascinated by fire, and he lit the sleeve of the costume on fire unintentionally. He certainly didn't mean to burn himself, but the sleeve caught fire and spread very quickly from the sleeve upwards,、uh, and combined with a、uh, cotton shirt that he had on over his costume, and caused severe, very severe burns. The polyester costume melted right into his skin and severely burned over 30 percent of Jojo's body, from his arms to his back and chest. I, like almost everybody in the United States, believe that children's clothing is supposed to be non-flammable.、Uh, actually, that's not the law.、Uh, the law says that only children's sleepwear. Uh, has to be non-flammable, and in as much as this was not technically speaking sleepwear, even though children wear these for sleep,、um, it was not legally required to be flame resistant. The law that regulates fabric safety was passed in 1950. Sorensen calls it antiquated and believes it does little to make sure children are safe. The only test that these、um, costumes undergo is what's called the 1610 test. This test is so easy to pass that tissue paper or wrapping paper passes this test. So, in my opinion, it gives virtually no protection whatsoever to children for polyester products like this costume. Here's a closer look at the 1610 test. This is fabric similar to JoJo's costume. It was placed in the machine and set on fire. As you can see, it didn't take long for the fabric to burn away. This costume was deemed safe enough to put on the market. The fact that they have passed this federal law does not mean that this product is safe. JoJo's costume was sold by Walmart. It was manufactured in China. Sorensen says U.S. retailers go to China for a reason. Because it's cheap. Now、that's that's the long and the short of it. Is they make more profit when they can buy it as cheaply as they can from China. During the investigation, Sorensen found and purchased sleepwear from Walmart. It looks just like a costume, but the big difference here is what is on the tag: flame resistant. It's 100% polyester. It's a Batman costume. It was purchased at the same location, and it costs exactly the same as the Halloween costume costs. So that tells you a lot. Uh, in other words, they can still make whatever profit they're making, and the children to be safe. Why they don't do it, I can't tell you. Sorensen says it would cost manufacturers just pennies to make costumes like JoJo's flame retardant. The industry needs to do better. I mean, these are products that are sold for use by children, and they need to be safe. And just because there's not a law that requires them to be flame resistant, they should. For the best interest, for the safety of the children of this country, it took only a matter of seconds for JoJo's life to change. To see how quickly, just watch. This is、uh, the Tiny Devil costume. It's made of 100% polyester, and、uh, these、uh, firefighters are going to see if they can light it and see what happens. Sorensen's team of investigators, along with the help of a firefighter, set a similar costume on fire. Within seconds, the legs and midsection were scorched. The costume lit and burned. It was not flame retardant. And if this was an actual child, what we would have is the polyester melts and basically becomes、uh, liquid plastic that makes the burns far worse than they would be with a regular cloth. The Consumer Product Safety Commission keeps a record of reported clothing fire injuries. Each year, there are 4,000 people seriously hurt. 150 of those fires are deadly. 
I think that, that, that all children's uh, clothing should be flame resistant. Sorensen says parents need to pay attention to those labels. Flame resistant means it will be tough to ignite. At the very least, if you, if you can light them, they self-extinguish very quickly. Uh, they won't burn. Little Jojo has had 10 surgeries already. He faces even more. His attorney took on Walmart and won. The settlement is enough to take care of Jojo for the rest of his life. But Sorensen says another victory is needed. The law has to change. This change is long overdue. Uh, I think that we could get a change, but it's going to take a grassroots movement uh, throughout the country if it's going to happen.